everyone, this is Alina Araujo with Windermere. Today I'm here visiting with a dear friend, Shelly Covington. She is with Penrith Loans. Um, she is a loan and mortgage advisor, um, my go-to uh, loan professional. And, um, you know, we wanted to talk to you guys today about what are three, this is going to be basic, but three pretty common uh, misconceptions that buyers have when they are in a process of purchasing a home. And so Shelly, talk to us about, you know, give us the rundown of what are the three common ones. Okay, so I would say that three of the most common misconceptions are you need 20% down to buy a home, Okay. you need perfect credit, and another one is that people come to me and they think they need to have been on their job for at least two years. And I hear that a lot. Yes, yeah. that's very common. That's not the case. Even your college education can count as employment. That can very give good. you your two-year history, specifically okay. if you graduated in a field that you're now working in. Mm -hmm. That's great, like an engineer. An engineer um, or even business, nursing, um, just a, a whole host of uh, careers mm -hmm. can be counted as college time, as work time. That's great, that's yeah. great. Um, we also hear one, I mean, I hear pretty often a mortgage insurance. Talk to us about that. Yes, the big <laughs> bad mortgage insurance. We hear that a lot. I don't want mortgage insurance. Mortgage insurance is not a bad thing. In fact, it's the specific reason and the sole reason why people can now buy with less than 20% down. Mortgage insurance protects the lender from default, which statistically mm -hmm. rises the lower the down payment is. Right. So say 30 years ago, mortgage insurance didn't exist the way it does now, and the lenders would not lend mm -hmm. on a home without 20% down. And that was a real real problem for people to reach that 20% down payment level. That's true. So it's a wonderful thing to us. It's wonderful because it allows for first-time home buyers 3% down, mm -hmm. some even 0% down programs in specific areas. That's very good. Yeah. That's is super great information. Um, is there anything else you hear pretty commonly uh, in your world of uh, financing? Um, well, I think that there's a whole host of things that we run across as far as things that people don't um, understand. We have a little list here that I made up. I was, yeah. I'm going to look at it real quick. I guess the biggest thing I would want to pass along is start your conversation with your realtor and your lender early. Because if you do run into any of these hiccups or maybe a little bit of a challenge, we can work through it before you find the house you love yeah. and then have to lose it because you aren't prepared to really make that offer. And that would be the biggest thing. Start early. I'll work with you for a year to get you to a place where you need to be to buy a home. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be just when you're ready to go look at a home. That's great. You know, it's something that I tell my first time home buyers or even just buyers, I say, you know, you have to know your shoe size before you go shopping for shoes. Yes, that's so, <laughs> so how are you going to buy, you know, a house not knowing how much you can afford? So I think that's a very good idea is talk to your lender before uh, falling in love with a house uh, because it's very important to know what to expect. Right, and to know your limits mm -hmm. because you don't want to go out and look at finishes at a $500,000 purchase level and end up finding out you qualify for four fifty. Right. And so that, very disappointing. It's very disappointing. We're not in the business of killing dreams. No, we <laughs> want people to be happy yeah. and excited yeah. when they find their home, and we want them to look in an appropriate range of uh, prices. That's great. No, that's yeah. very good. So awesome. Well, thank you so much, Shelly, for Elena. joining me. Always and, great working with you. Um, I will link up all the contact information so you can reach out to Shelly. She's uh, for me, she's always available uh, to get in touch. Um, you know, email, phone number. I mean, of course, if she's Unavailable at the moment, she'll call you back as soon as she's done. So thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Thanks, Alina. Thank you.